Okay, so you see I've got this scene here where the volumetric fog is coming through like that. And you can see I have all of these spheres here. Now, I do not actually want these spheres to be visible in my final game, right? So the problem is if I just select all of these and then hide them, you can see that we have a problem. The light is coming through here and that's causing the volumetric fog to come, come through here and then um, and then you know we see all this this fog and that's not what we want we want the god rays coming through here and we want this area to be pretty much dark so what do we do well there is a setting within the static mesh called hidden shadow this one right here and it says if true the primitive will cast shadows even if be hidden is true controls whether the primitive should cast shadows when hidden this flag is only used if cast shadow is true so if I check this and now I hide the objects you can see that the light is actually behaving as though the objects are still there which is pretty neat because we can see that the volumetric fog is still coming through here and we cannot see the objects if we look up now there is one other issue that we have to deal with if I hit play you can see the objects are still there real quick uh, there's one other setting in here and that's actor hidden in game if I check that you can see that uh, they're no longer there if I hit play um, now there is one other case uh, one other use case for this other than getting god rays to uh, to shine through the way that you want them to and that is if if you want a shadow in a certain spot without the um, object that is casting that shadow to be visible so what do I mean by that well if I add in a cube right here and then I scale it down like that All right, so you can see that the shadow, it's casting a shadow right there. If I hide it, then as we just discussed, it's going to not cast that shadow anymore. But if I if I check hidden shadow and then hide it, it's it's casting that shadow. 